should look familiar as we are approaching Elephant Dam, as you saw in the last video. And I will link that below or up top if you want to take a look. But here we go, guys. Just look how magnificent this flow is. We had a lot of rain the past few days. And just look how beautiful this, re this reservoir looks. Well, let me pause you here and get you right here at the bottom of the falls. Well, nature and fam, here we are. This is the dam and reservoir we visited last time when JP and myself were here. And wow, look at this flow today, guys. Absolutely incredible. Let me get out of the way here. I'm getting splashed with water, but this isn't even the main attraction. We're actually going to our second location, which is another dam and reservoir up a little further. So I'm going to get a couple close-up shots here, and then we're going to make our way up the top. JP is up there right now, and uh, we're going to join him and continue on our, uh, our journey here. So here we are, just atop the first reservoir, looking over, absolutely gorgeous, but JP's up there waiting for me, so we're going to get to the top of uh, this reservoir and I'll give you some excellent shots and then we'll start our, uh, start our journey. All right, nature fam, we are now leaving reservoir number two and uh, I gotta catch up to JP and we are gonna be taking a trail here on the left that will hopefully get us down to the new reservoir we're about to check out. And we've both never been there before. We saw it on the map and um, like I said, the viewers wanted us to come down and explore and that's what we're just gonna do, so. Let me flip this around and let's get this journey started, guys. Let's go. And look at just coming right into the trail here. As you can see, we had a lot of rain here in Northeast PA. And these trails are quite swampy, so just gotta snap a few branches out of my way here and we're gonna carry on down this mucky trail hopefully it dries up for us but i'm gonna pick up the pace here i don't even see jay down here on the trail so we're gonna run up and catch up to him and we'll bring you right back now look at this side shot guys of the reservoir i mean this is so gorgeous and guys this water is so clear i'm actually gonna it down and show you just how clear it is because I can't even believe it I mean you could see piles of rocks right down there at the edge you could see that going all the way into the reservoir it's like a pebble beach so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that before we continue on so we're making our way down and uh, just made a nice discovery we got some Nice bones here, but this is the area I wanted to get down and show you. It looks so gorgeous from the top. Whoa. Sorry guys, this is uh, 
not the best terrain, but we're going to make our way through. And look how beautiful this is here on the bottom. This is uh, probably going to be the new swim spot, guys. Look how gorgeous this is. Wow, guys, this water is so gorgeous. Look how nice and clean that is. Welcome back, nature and family. Across the uh, little stream here and Here's our gorgeous shot here in this little island. And just look how beautiful that is. I mean, this whole area is just incredible. And you could tell how deep this would have been. I mean, this sort of gone all the way back where all those new growth trees are. And just look how high this would have been. I mean, that's that would have been all covered. We'd be basically underwater if standing here. Beautiful, guys. I mean, perfect day for it. All right, nature and family, we're still here at reservoir number two. There's JP in the background, so we're just out here, this little island here, getting some underwater footage here, so definitely go over to his channel, check his underwater footage out, see what he got, and uh, yeah, hope, hope you guys will enjoy what we captured for you, but we're going to pack up here and we're going to continue moving along to our uh, second point of the day, so follow along guys as we continue on. So guys, sorry it's a little bit windy, but we just left the reservoir in. We're just taking notice of these strangely bent trees. All these trees in the area here. Let me zoom it out. You see all those arches? Yeah, every, every, all the trees here are... That's pretty fascinating how they're all wilted over. If you guys know, if you guys know what could have caused all that, definitely leave it in the comments because it's pretty interesting how they all just start bending that way. Maybe a storm or something bent them when they were young and that's just the way they continue to grow. But yeah, definitely leave a, a comment below and tell me what you think, what could have caused these trees to, to bend in this, in this way. Well, right now we're, um, just determining what way we're going to follow this uh, creek down. So, follow us and um, we're going to continue on, guys. Here's another shot close up of uh, the bent trees. Jay had a good idea. He thinks maybe that we had a recent storm, windstorm in the area. He thinks that may have been one of the causes that could have had the trees tipping over. But who knows, right? Making a crossover, hopefully get a easier part of the stream and uh Jay's up first, gonna take a running start here. Gimbal in hand. Such a gazelle, look at that grace. Alright. Now it's my turn. And uh and we saw Jay notice some more scratches here on the rocks that may have came from maybe some sort of animal. But I'm not gonna jump it. Oh, I'm gonna use my legs here. Whoa. Right across, guys. <laughs> Looks so clean. Here's a shot of uh, that nice little pool that 
I showed you from below. You zoom in and Look how nice and clear that is. I mean, everything down here is so, so crystal clear. All the water. It's unbelievable, guys. We have a separation point here. And then it wise out a little further down gives us a nice little pool area over here a nice little drop off and just amazing guys just look at this area that I'm at I'll just turn around for you and I mean these are the views today, guys. Absolutely incredible. Blue skies all around. The sounds of this gorgeous water. I mean, we can't, we can't do any better than that for a Sunday hiking. So I'm gonna wait for Jay to come up the trail just a little bit and Hopefully we uh, make our way a little bit closer to the third reservoir. So thank you guys for joining me on this adventure here. Again, this is uh, part two of uh, this series. I showed you the first dam as we walked in. That's the elephant reservoir number two. And we are on our way to reservoir number three next. But we're going to meet JP up right here at this spot, and we're going to continue on down trail. So guys, we're off the uh, beaten trail a little bit, as you can see around us. No physical trail. Going through all these uh, picker bushes. Oh, as I say that, I go right through a picker bush. But yeah, we're making our way through, and hopefully we'll come up to some sort of trail at the end here but yeah we're still making our way through okay guys we're continuing on and just wanted to show you this beautiful area Jay spotted as we were coming up the creek a little bit and oh my gosh wow guys just wow that's incredible. And you know I'm gonna get down there for you guys. Let's give you a good shot. But just look how amazing that is. So let me pause you here and climb down and we'll get you some good views at the bottom. All right, nature family, we snuck our way down and just look at this beautiful little oasis we just found here. I mean, tucked in, all shaded out. I mean, absolutely gorgeous, right guys? Wow, I can't get over it. Such a beautiful area, but let me turn you around and we'll take a nice walk upstream and give you guys a better view. All right, guys, let's continue along and just show you how beautiful and so peaceful this little area is. I mean, it's just so peaceful and quiet. Sounds of the creek. Gorgeous, guys. Here's another shot looking downstream. Just look at the colors, I mean, so stunning. 
got the blues and the greens. Let me just turn it around and just give you another beautiful look where we're headed. Well, we're continuing up creek some more and just uh just to show you just how beautiful this whole little area is i mean all uphill just all beautiful boulders And beautiful little falls and drops. So nice. And again, look how just absolutely clean this water is. It's going to be so much fun swimming in here. further up and we came across another giant looks like a deep pool here and just look how clean that water is I'm gonna get my action cam in there as well and just see how deep that really goes I mean Check this cool area out that we have to cross and continue on to the reservoir. This old wooden plank bridge over some metal eye beams and look who we found, guys. It's our QT. And uh, coming across, I'll just show you briefly just how amazing that looks. And then Jay's going down to take a look, but look how big this pool is here. I'll give you a better shot. In a few minutes, their quads came by and they went through some of the creek before and it browned it up. But when we come back from the reservoir, I will come back and I'll give you better, cleaner shots. Look at that, right on the metal beams you walk and we're gonna carry on up this way and we will uh, be making our way to this reservoir number three. All right, nature and family. Just came up this trail here, sat down, had a little bit of water and uh, I'm just gonna show you the new spot we just hit. 
This is uh, the third reservoir on the list and the last one to, to be found by us. So just look how amazing this reservoir is. Let me flip you around and give you a better shot looking over in the surrounding environment. So hold on and I'll get that flipped right around for you guys. We made it to the elephant reservoir number three. And just let me pan this around for you. And you can just take in this beautiful, beautiful reservoir. And this one is significantly larger than reservoir number two. I mean, it's gorgeous. The sad thing is about this one is it doesn't have the big damn wall or the spillway. So you don't get the wow factor per se as the last reservoir, which was my absolute favorite of the, of the two here. Again, just look how beautiful this whole little area looks. I mean, <laughs> absolutely incredible with the pine trees. You have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sky. Gorgeous water, the reflection. I mean, this area is <laughs> another beautiful find. I mean, can't get enough of these reservoirs and natural places. They're just chocked full of beauty. All right, nature fam. We just walked all the way down the side of the reservoir. And really this is probably the most gorgeous spot <laughs> of the uh, of the area, but we're gonna pass through this enchanted forest section, and then we're gonna follow. There's JP. <laughs> we're gonna follow Jay down this long stretchway, and uh, he believes that there's a little spillway out in that corner that um, we're gonna go check out now. So, I just want to say thank you guys again for joining me on this adventure. I mean. Look how beautiful it is. We got beautiful weather. Can't ask for anything else. All right, nature family. We just left the enchanted forest side of the reservoir now. And uh, right now we're just walking on a piece of the, the landlock that holds the water into the reservoir and the land in between the reservoir we just visited. Let me flip you around and show you what we're looking at, guys. Again, this is uh, like an old access road, I would imagine, that they would have used to come check on the dam. And as you can see, all the way out there, we have some people quadding. And then down in the lower area, there's another family out here walking. Yeah, look at that. Everybody's out here enjoying the day. You have the sun's out, blue skies. It's just uh, really incredible. Absolutely incredible. Deployed my little cube action there, my little Polaroid cube. Hit record. Just see what that gets. Let's leave that out on the trail. But we gotta continue on. We still didn't even make it across this little walkway, guys. <laughs> Jay's been down here for about 10 minutes now. He's probably thinking, what am I doing? Look 
Well, Nature and Family, we finally made it down to this little bit of the reservoir. I apologize for the wind if my mic isn't catching all that, but yeah, it's a nice little creek runs into here. And this is the same one that shuttles down to uh, the reservoir number two. It just, I love how the water flows through the thick clumps of grass like this. It always makes for a, a beautiful shot. We'll hike up and take a look at these little tiny streams. And these are so beautiful. I had those in my uh, last reservoir shot, and I loved how it looked. Well, right now we're just stone hopping at the end of the reservoir here into the stream. Such a beautiful view. And the wind up here, guys, is absolutely incredible. <laughs> so if we lose a little bit of sound quality, I do apologize. It's super windy up here. But here's another shot looking. All the way out, and I mean, there's no shortness of beauty here. Incredible. Well, nature and fam, what are you thinking so far? We had two reservoirs and one short little trip here. And I mean, the views just go on for days. They're amazing. I mean, you have the beautiful pines straight across, just this big open area ahead. Just fantastic. I mean, again, I, I keep saying it in a lot of my videos that we're blessed to have this right by us, but I mean, to come out here on a beautiful day and get to just walk around the reservoir, there's nothing like it. So still continuing along this reservoir, check out this little area here, nice little grassy patch. And you can see at most of the spots, we have a nice little fire pit or a fire mound in this case. But I mean, I can't get over these views here. The water and the reflection coming off the, the blue sky, just making it just a very, very beautiful place to shoot. Well guys, we came out on top of this rock and you want to go over and check Jay's video out. He's going to, he has a longer reach pole on his action cam and just look how deep this water gets here. It's like a couple rocks, couple rocks, and then just a steep drop off. I mean, for how clear this water is, you can't see any part of that bottom. And like I said, we have Jay over here getting those Disney shots for us. Well, guys, we're leaving the main part of the reservoir and we're going to take the creek on out of here. See if we can find anything else down here before we call it quits. So I'm going to get on to this river here and we will uh, bring you back if we find something a little bit more interesting then wrap up the video. All right guys, so I just crossed the creek and we're going to leave this area here, but I want to bring you back down to that bridge that we visited before we made it up to the top of the reservoir. I mean, there's a cool slide to show you. 
and a very deep pool with that that's crystal clear. So we still have a lot more to see, maybe get some slow-mo footage, some under, underwater action. But we're gonna carry on down this way and we'll bring you back when we get to the bridge, guys. <laughs> Had to bring you back and just show you how cool this little part of the stream is. It's just so small. It looks so gorgeous tucked in this little area. I mean, the banks are covered in the moss. Again, crystal clear. This is gonna be like a two hour video for me, guys. Just look how beautiful that looks, roaring through that. So cool. Well, guys, we gotta cross this little stream. We're trying to convince Jada cross that little log here and make it across so I'm gonna get down and make sure he makes it across safe and sound <laughs> look you're like a professional so gazelle like <laughs> balance That's all you need, guys, a little bit of balance. And we're making it right across. Trying to snake our way through this little bit of woods. Okay, nature and family, we are back. Jay and I uh, made it all the way back from the reservoir, which is this main trail here. But we wanted to bring you in and just give you a shot of how clean and clear and deep this water is. So let me climb down here and just show you just how clean this pool is and deep. Just take a look at that, guys. Now you might not be able to see too much with the, the glare from the sun off the water, but just looking down all these rocks here, they're actually quite deep. And you can see those crystal clear. Even those rocks here, that's probably, I would say, at least three foot deep. Just uh, unbelievable how clear this water is. And here we are looking underneath the bridge. And that's just steel I-beams with some uh, wooden ties over it. That just is what's feeding this beautiful, beautiful pool area. If I'm gonna pull my action cam out and just show you just how clean and clear this little bit of water is. What's going on, nature and family? That's gonna do it for today's adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed coming out here to Elephant Reservoir number three. We had a blast out here today. Beautiful, 
Beautiful scenery, water everywhere. Slides behind me. Such an awesome time. And I'm really glad you guys got to come out and join us on this adventure. And if you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscription button and become part of the Naturing family. We get out here and explore all these new locations weekly. And also, if you're new, check out JP's channel. He filmed a video here today and he had a bunch of incredible footage underwater shots. So if you're done with my video, go ahead and head over there and you, you won't regret it. He has a lot of good footage over there. So I just want to say thank you again. Mike from Mountain Nature. Enjoy it.